and I want to go over how the stick is put in. This is just the spare fabric that I had from him that's just wrapped around his stick. Okay, so you see as Ben is very, very straight. Firmly filled. That is the word. This is where your stick is going to go. And there should be a hole where I had put the stick before if you saw if there was um, either a video on my YouTube of Hobby Horse. The best way to insert your stick is to sit down and put the hobby horse in between your legs because that's going to hold the stuffing together whenever you push the stick down in. But since this already has a hole, I should be able just to twist it in very lightly. Push it very lightly and it should go in. And you never ever want to just jam it in. It's just like this. Putting it in between your legs, adjusting it, and when the stick goes in, what you're going to want to do make sure it's balanced is put it underneath your arm and underneath your hand, and that's going to show whether the hobby horse's head is balanced or not. As you can see, he's tilting this way. So I'm going to want to readjust the stick this way. Push it up some more. And there we go. It's up in here. And what's his head doing? It's completely straight. So that's a good way of adjusting the hobby horse's head. And then, um, so you can add more stuffing to the bottom of the stick area because some of the stuffing can get pushed up in here a bit more. So, used. this is a problem that lots of people have, which I don't know why they do. Part of this string would be down here. So this, let's say these two are attached. I'm holding this part of the string and I'm taking this around. You just wanna pull very tightly. Because you do not want this slipping. This is takes a lot of strength. And then you can just tie this off. And you can even tie it multiple times if you feel the need to. And then you can also go over tape with this part. And that's how you tape the hobby horse stick. You see? He sits perfectly balanced. 